Yo, my people, them. CFC, Riddles Blue, back with another video and it's match review settings for the Chelsea and Nottingham Forest game, which we drew 1 1. I'd like to thank every single last one of you guys for your support on the watch along. Thank you to everyone for your comments, your likes, and your views. And I've hoped you've enjoyed the watch along and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Man's gonna get into the review and fam. Man, that's the big up Robert Sanchez, first of all. That's the big up Robert Sanchez. Because today, we literally could have lost. It's just like not in the first day, could have lost. They need to big up their goalkeeper because both goalkeepers today moved mad. The amount of saves that they made, big saves from Robert Sanchez in like the last 10 or 15 minutes, two big saves, as well as the non first keeper making three big saves in the last couple of minutes, in the last 10 or 15 minutes of the match. They were outstanding and make the points level. And to be fair to you, after watching the whole entire game, it is deserved. It is deserved. Both teams defensively were very good. Us more so than um, none of us because we did concede from a set piece. Whereas these guys literally scored from open play. Noni Madreki with the goal. Chris with, with um, none of Forrest's goal. Fam, it just is what it is. Would we be happy with a win? 100%. But based on other results as well, we remain fourth in the Premier League for another match week, which is just brilliant. And have to big up the team. But let's just talk about the team. This was our starting eleven. Robert Sanchez was in goal. Malo Gusto. Then it was Colwell as well as Wesley Fofana. Left back was Mark Cucurello. CDMs was Enzo Fernandez as well as Moises Caicedo. On the left was Jaden Sancho on the right, Noni Madweki, Cam Cole Palmer, striker Nicholas Jackson. And in the first half, we weren't doing too great. We was taking a lot of shots outside the box or a lot of shots that just um, didn't amount to anything. Like Noni Madweki was most likely one of our most threatening players on the right hand side as well as Jaden Sancho on the left. We was working both wings. Not a lot was coming through the centre. Not a lot was coming through the centre. And that's why we have to necessarily praise Jaden Sancho because his creativity is mad. He was doing very well, created near enough good chances, but we just couldn't get any shots off because, yeah, none of Forest were literally just parking the bus, which we would have expected. This isn't a team that was coming at us to attack us, to take the game to us. No, they were sitting back majority of the time and they defended very, very well. They made it very difficult for us in the first half. Like, we didn't have a shot on target until the 41st minute. We couldn't get into their box enough to create a good amount of chances. Jaden Sancho, he did get in the box, have a lot of touches, but it didn't necessarily amount to anything, really. Like, if we did have any shots, it just went wide, just off target, just a waste. But that's when things were starting to change. Cole Palmer started to drift more into the centre. The more he done that is the more opportunities that we did get. Hence why in the sec in the by the end of the first half we had two shots on target. And we was lucky we was unlucky to hit the post. Cole Palmer, I think if he put more venom, he just wanted to sad for you. I think if he put more venom in that, we would have scored. But these are just the things that happen. Like it's just literally the things that happen and that's literally with one of our first two shots on target. Not in the forest, they didn't necessarily have too many shots. They had a lot of shots from outside the box, but they did have a free header. And to be honest, that was the best chance of the game. Psh, I can't lie. The fact that they didn't score that, hey man, we have to be happy to know that it went straight to the key point. Robert Sanchez made a big save. That was another big save for Robert Sanchez. And he made so many of them today. He made so many of them. And man's going to talk about him more so in the play range, which I will be uploading later on. But Sanchez, man, he, he makes us stay in the game. Like, us going 1-0 down in the first half, things could have been different. But he made us stay in the game. Those saves that he made, as well as Levi Colwell. Fam, your block, your block was immense, man. Defensively today, I think we done so well. Attacking-wise, we didn't do too well. But defensively, we was brilliant today, in my opinion. Fair enough, we did concede from the set piece at the start of the second half, something that we don't necessarily see too often. Us conceding early in the second half, it's normally us scoring based off what we've seen so far in the Premier League. But, hey man, 
we then get another goal back within the next 10 minutes. Noni Madweki gets the ball from Cole Palmer, cuts on his left foot, puts the ball in the back of the net. Have to big him up and he needs that goal. There was people that were telling me at half time that we should take him off. We shouldn't have taken off Noni. I believed in him and he deserves to score his goal. He's now scored four Premier League goals. He scored five all last season. He is doing his thing and we are just continuously scoring goals. I knew full well that we would score 100%, 100%. But I hope that we would score more than one. It just didn't come off that way. And hey man, Ward Prowse, Ward Prowse in the last 15 minutes or 20 minutes, he got taken off. He had a second yellow card and they went down to 10 men. They were more conservative. They put more guys behind the ball, but they still didn't stop us from creating some good chances. Hence the Mikhailo Mudrik. That ball you gave to Christopher Nkunku, that was a brilliant ball. On your weaker foot as well, left foot, that was effortless. Nkunku should have scored, but you have to big up the um, Northern Forest goalkeeper. He did very well. And even the double save that he made for Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer, we're thinking that he's going to score. If not the first one, the second one. But he makes the double save, the Northern Forest goalkeeper, to deny us from getting that goal. Not in the forest, we're wasting so much time during the second half, especially in the last 15. Understandably, they are down to 10 men. But I can't lie, man. You have to big up their goalkeeper because he done everything. We can only do so much. We we put the balls on the plates. We, we have a good amount of chances, but we just didn't score. And you have to big up certain goalkeepers like None of Forest's goalkeeper for today. Just like we have to big up Robert Sanchez. Both keepers were magnificent. And it wouldn't be a surprise that if, if that these were the two best players from either team. Because to talk about certain things that so many players did right, there was only one goal scored. Both defences done very well. Ours more so than, than non enforcers. But again, it's just a point drawn. And we just have to just take it. Because like I said, this time last year, if we would have drawn, we would have been in the bottom half. Now, we are in fourth position. Still on level points. We're on level points with Aston Villa. But we have a much better goal difference. Three points behind Arsenal and Man City. Four points behind Liverpool, who we take on next. This is just better vibes and a much better feeling that we would have had last season. Much better feeling. I'm not going to say that I'm sitting here and happy, so happy that we got the draw, but we will take it. We will take the point. We are still unbeaten in our last six league games, only losing to Manchester City this season. We couldn't say the same thing last season. We couldn't. And that's what man needs to be happy about and Chelsea fans need to understand that we are in a process. Enzo Maresca even said it in his press conference. We can't challenge for Man City and Arsenal they have been a, they've had a manager for nine years and five years, respectively, and we've been having our manager for three months. As a rescor, I do feel like he might have done the substitutions a little bit sooner, but regardless, they nearly worked. And Kunku should have scored. We could have had we could have had a W, but it just didn't work out that way. Our defense done very well, and even though it's jarring to know that Kukurea got a booking, I don't even think that should have been a yellow card. Hopefully he gets rescinded so that he can play our next game against Liverpool. But if not, he most likely won't. He won't play against Liverpool. Just like Wesley Fofana, they are both right now not going to be playing against Liverpool after the international break, which means Renato Vega as well as um, as well as Tosin will most likely come in. So, hey man, that's just a food for thought. We end the international break not having lost during this whole period. We've won, we've, we haven't lost in our last six league games. We are still in the top four. There are so many positives, so many positives, and we just have to keep being happy. And hopefully that no players come back from the international break injured. Hopefully. But, hey man, 1-1 one, one draw. It's a deserved draw. Can't say that none of us didn't deserve to score more than one goal. We deserve to score more than one goal. But these are the things that happen. At least we get a point. It's better than a loss. And move on to the next match, man, after the international break. But I'd like to thank you all for your support. I will be uploading the player ratings later today, so stay tuned for that. And, yeah, man, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Facebook. And as always, come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea. Big up Noni Medweki for your goal. And big up Sanchez for saving us.